Hello everyone! Welcome to another fun summer reading program. So this is a really fun science experiment. We're going to do some fizzing fairy potions today. Now this is pretty simple in terms of ingredients. A lot of this you can find already in your own home. It's just a few things but it's really really fun, easy, and I would say it's a fun mess. So I would be prepared for a mess but again it's pretty fun. So if you have something like this to contain the mess can be it'll be a lot easier to take care of or if you want to do it outside. So I'm going to start by saying you'll need something like this. You could use a tin or even a cookie tray. Just something to catch um, things in it because this does overflow in a very fun and exciting way. So I just have like a baking dish. You're going to need some dish soap. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind, um, even if it's a color, because we can use our own color and change it. So I just have some regular, some orange dish soap, soap here. You're going to want a little glass jar. You can use a cup, you can use a mason jar, a small one. Um, it doesn't really matter the size. It depends on how much stuff you want to use, because nothing's precise measurement. Um, so whatever size. So I just have a little one, because I thought this looked really cute and fairy-ish. And then I have just plain white vinegar that we're going to use and then some baking soda as well. Oh, and also some glitter. These are kind of optional things. I have some glitter and food coloring and this kind of really elevates it and make it, it makes it fairy-like because we can make it whatever color we want and add some fun sparkles. And then you'll want a spoon to mix and measure some things with. So we're going to start by, I have my glass jar open and we're going to fill it halfway with vinegar. So no matter the size of the jar you're using, just fill it halfway. So I'm going to start by doing that. Be across from it. There we go. Mine's a little more than halfway. That's fine. And then this is where we're going to put in our food coloring. So I think I'm going to do blue, because I think that would be really pretty. So I'm just going to do a few drops, maybe two, to see how I like it. And it looks very cool right now. Let me give it a little stir. Oh yeah, now it's nice and blue. Look at that really dark actually. Okay, and next, when you have your liquid to the color of your desire, you're going to add a generous squeeze of dish soap. So again, nothing precise, but a good helping. Oh, and because mine's orange, it's changing the color, which is really, really cool. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. And then we're going to add the baking soda, and that's when everything really starts to happen. Okay, so I have some blue glitter here because I did mine blue, so I thought that would look really pretty. Add a little bit now, and then a little more after. Okay, so again, uh, this is just for the baking soda, you just need a spoonful. So I have another spoon here. I'm going to use because I use the other one for mixing. I'm going to open this. Take my big container. I'm going to sprinkle that on. So I just have a regular teaspoon here. All right. It's all going to happen. Ready? <gasps> Ooh, I don't know if you can see. Can you see it? <gasps> and I'm going to add some more glitter to make it really pretty. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Look at that! And there it goes! <gasps> Can you see? Oh my gosh, this is so cool! <gasps> so easy! So fun! <gasps> it is still going, and you can keep adding glitter. You can, you know, give a little spell before you do it. Make the magic happen. Add some more glitter. Make it look extra magical which mine really, really does. Mine's really going crazy. And that's what I mean. This is all happening just for my little jar. So if you made a bigger one, this is great. 
And if you wanted to keep it going, you can just keep adding vinegar and baking soda and keep sprinkling glitter to your heart's content because this will keep going for a little bit and then when it starts to run out, you can just add a little bit more. And if you had a little wand, that would be a lot of fun too. But yeah, super simple, super easy, really, really fun and creative science experiment. Easy to do. And you could do this with a lot of other things too. Well, all right. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did this, I would love to see what your fairy potion looks like. Please send us photos or videos, email them to us. We would love to see it here at the library. Look at that. Okay, mine's kind of stopped now and it looks like this. Maybe we should add a little bit more. Sprinkle, I have some extra in here. Let's add a little bit more and see what happens. Just for fun, why not? There it goes. It's going again. All right, thank you so much for watching and hopefully we see you here at the library now that we're open. And again, like I said, if you do this fun activity, please show it to us. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.